This week on 48 Hours, it's been more than two decades that a television anchor from Iowa went missing. Investigators are still looking for Josie, who is in truth, and are now releasing new information on their search and a possible stalker. CBS News correspondent Jim Axelrod is live in New York. Jim, good to see you. And with details on who the stalker is and if there is anyone else police are looking at this time. Oh, well, this is such a sad story. It really gripped this region in Iowa and Minnesota in, in June of 1995. Their morning anchor, Jody Husentrout, who has really been sort of one of those people you welcome into your home every morning, just didn't show up for work. She was never found again, never seen again. Her body was never found. No arrests. Here we are 23 and a half years later, and police are still working the case. It's not a cold case. Tomorrow night on 48 Hours, we will not only show you what happened, because we were on the ground 23 years ago, but where the case is now. Uh, so you mentioned that police say this is not a cold case. It's been an active investigation since she disappeared. Uh, Jim, do they still seem hopeful that justice will be served here? Have they been finding new clues and new information all along the way these past two decades? Police are always very tight-lipped when you start poking around because of the very sensitive nature in the community about the case. Although the police chief assured me, he said, I don't want to let the cat out of the bag. I said, well, is there a cat in the bag? He said, yes, we do have something. I said, are we talking days, weeks, months? He goes, well, maybe not that fast. Always has been a couple of chief persons of interest, a close friend of hers who he said Jody was like a daughter to him, although friends say that John Van Sice actually wanted to date Jody. And then there's a convicted rapist in Minneapolis in the late 90s. But in June of 95, when Jody disappeared, he was living two blocks from the TV station in Mason City, Iowa. And Jim, who is John Van Sice and what exactly was his relationship with Jody? Yeah, so John Van Sice was. Uh, a, a seed salesman in the Midwest. He was a very close inner circle part of Jody's life, had been involved in throwing her 27th birthday party for her just a couple of weeks before. But he's always been a figure that has drawn some suspicion in the Mason City, Iowa community, precisely because some people weren't clear if he was just a friend or perhaps he had been somebody who wanted to be romantic with, with Jody and had been jilted or jealous of another relationship. We do go and find John Van Sice 23 years later. You'll see what happens when we knock on his door tomorrow night on 48 Hours. Jim, very interested to see all these new developments on this case that has really uh, not just gripped uh, that mm -hmm. area for so long, but really the entire uh, broadcasting community. It's certainly something I've kept an eye on over the years, so thanks so much. Looking forward to the update. Thank you. And there is one place to catch the all-new episode of 48 Hours, and that's right here on CBS 4 News. Tomorrow night at 10, then stick around for CBS 4 News at 11.